My name is Karen Sybil, CEO of Always Civil Enterprise uh, Branding and Marketing Company and CEO of Live Civil, which is pushing uh, women empowerment and the power of play, which is the charity extension. Financial freedom to me um, is, it, it goes hand in hand with having financial literacy, it is understanding for anyone who is starting a business, um, may they be taking a loan out or whatever it may be coming from that financial structure space. It's just really understanding all the logis logistics of it. Growing up in middle school, we had junior achievement. And what was so amazing about it is it was a gentleman from our local bank who would come and talk to us about opening an account, um, about just starting a business, having loans and things of that nature. And to me, that was so imperative and important for me growing up because that put, I felt like that was the mustard seed that I needed to help me realize like I can have my own business, what's there to help me and things of that nature. So it's, it's, it's something that's vital and important. And I was very happy to go through like the junior achievement program, but to know things like Ahead Financial now exist to help with that financial literacy so people understand the importance of it, especially with starting a business um, is amazing. How important it is to have women in business is like how important is it to breathe it's something that just needs to to exist it's like it's no right it's no right answer for it it's just like women continue to, to move the culture forward you know Forbes magazine said um, black female entrepreneurs actually lead in entrepreneurship and starting businesses so that's all that needs to tell you you know, we're here, we're making strides, connections, um, creating fellowship and opportunities, and we're, we're, str we're strong-minded, so it only makes sense. There are two people I love right now. I've, she, I've loved her since the beginning um, for years now, Melody Hobson. You know, she has aerial investments. She's a chair, work, chair um, person for Starbucks as well as DreamWorks. I'm absolutely in love with her. The fact that, you know, she's married to George Lucas and she has her own business and she stands and shines on her own. And, you know, she, to me, is like an introvert who um, operates as an extrovert. So I love that about her. And um, you have to applaud what Issa Rae's doing right now. You know, she is somebody who is continuing to conquer and come out in her own space and in her own way. And she has created all these different lanes um, when you kind of see like her Issa Rae career family tree and the, the different branches and extensions now that, that live and coexist together, it's freaking amazing. And I love that she is doing it her way. Best advice, obviously, to, um, going back to my junior achievement was junior achievement. Just, just having the bank account, having a savings account, them just telling me, the different things and it's just honestly it was just junior achievement opened up my eyes very young on the importance of like having financial literacy so yeah just just being a part of that program to me now you know um i love school not taken away from our generation who's there now but i really wish this was more of a conversation that was happening at a younger age for children because now you're seeing entrepreneurs come in younger and younger so to have that money conversation you know, starting in elementary would to me make sense now. I remove a lot of the second guessing that I did when it came to business, when it came to making sacrifices and certain things for my business. But I was like, okay, is it really worth it? Is it this? I put a lot of self doubt. Um, it was very worrisome at the beginning. And even though, you know, you say bet on yourself, bet on your business and everything else, just in the back of my mind, I had this little voice that would just second guess everything. So if I could go back and like, listen, you're on the right path, making the right choices, even if you feel as though it's wrong, it's a lesson, it's a lesson in, um, in the situation. So it's just, just taking away that doubt. First and foremost, you know, we, we Besides acknowledging us, we have to acknowledge the differences when it comes to women and 
and our male partners when it comes to business. We get 30% less. Um, opportunities aren't always afforded to us. At times there is a glass ceiling. We, um, you know, we have things like the pink tax. There's so many different things that, you know, these infrastructures and things that are set in place at times for us not to succeed. And the start line is not the same for us, especially if you are a black woman. Um, and it's unfortunate. So when we get those chances to highlight one another, we get those chances to rise to the occasion. This is when you applaud, you applaud that person. You know, even if you're not in the game and you're in the stands, it's, it's just so important at this time because we have all these obstacles against us. So when we get to rise to that occasion, man, I'm excited. So it's just about looking to my left and my right and getting excited for my um, sister counterparts.